The signature page serves to document approval of a thesis or dissertation. In its fully signed form, this page is to be included in the hardbound, electronic, and published copies of the manuscript. This tutorial covers how to format the signature page of a thesis or dissertation. This is a sample signature page in the target format. You can also refer to the sample page in the back of the thesis and dissertation guidelines. First, refer to the sample pages to type up your signature page content. This will include your title, your name, the paragraph wording which is very specific, your committee members, and the administrators that approve your thesis or dissertation. Once you have this information compiled, we can then apply the formatting edits to the signature page. This is a sample page with some common errors, which we will go through and fix one by one. First, the margins. To set the margins, on your top ribbon, choose the Page Layout tab, then Margins and Custom Margins. Set the top margin to 2 inches, bottom 1 inch, left 1.5, and right 1 inch. Then choose the Layout tab and change the footer margin to 0.75. The footer margin determines the position of the page number. And select OK. Next we will adjust the title. The title style should be consistent with the thesis and dissertation title on your title page, as well as the style of the major headings throughout your manuscript. That means your chapter titles, appendices, bibliography, all of those styles should be consistent. If your chapter titles are in all caps, then make sure that your thesis and dissertation title is in all caps as well. It may be bolded, it may be unbolded, it may be in mixed case and bolded. This all depends on the title style of your thesis or dissertation. Next, make sure that the word by is in lowercase letters. There should be double spacing in between your title and your name but the paragraph beneath should be in single spaced lines. This is one of the few exceptions throughout the manuscript in which you use single spacing. Select the paragraph and change the paragraph alignment from left to full justification. This will make the paragraph straightly aligned with the left and with the right margins. For the paragraph text, Make sure to refer to the sample page in the back of the thesis and dissertation guidelines and just adjust the name of your advisor and department and college as needed. For the committee signature lines, this section is headed by the word Supervisory Committee in all capitals. The signature lines themselves should be right aligned with the right margin. Click on each line and then choose the right aligned paragraph option. This will ensure that your lines are straightly aligned with the right margin. The text for your committee names and degrees however, should be left aligned. Select each name, choose left aligned paragraph, and then simply tab over each advisor name until it is aligned with the left edge of the signature line. For each of the administrative approval signature lines, make sure that the alignment is set to left. 
the length of each line should also be consistent. If you're unsure about the length of your signature lines, you can simply select one line, copy, and paste to replace the other signature lines. so that each one is the same length. Also make sure that the spacing above each signature line is consistent. So I will remove this extra line break so that the line spacing is the same as the line above it. For the date line, make sure that this is on the same level as the graduate college dean's signature. As the last approver of your thesis or dissertation, the graduate college dean will add the date of final approval. Tab over the line to make sure it is aligned with the right margin and that the word date is aligned with the left edge of the date line. Some key points to keep in mind. One, make sure that the font type and size used for this page is consistent with that of your manuscript text. Your manuscript may be in Times New Roman, Arial, or another font of your choosing, as long as you are using the same font consistently throughout your entire thesis or dissertation. Two, make sure that your page number is also consistent with that font type and size. Double click on the page number, select the page number, and then change the font if needed to match your page text. Three, all of the content of this page should fit on one single page. Sometimes when there are more committee members, you may have difficulty adjusting the spacing in between the lines. However, it is still necessary to fit all members on one page. If needed, your committee lines can extend below the level of the administrative signature lines as long as all content fits within the same page and there is still reasonable spacing above each line so that the member can sign his or her name. And this concludes the tutorial on signature page formatting in Microsoft Word.